Well, I love UFOs. I watch all those shows. You know, it's kind of like a sci-fi uh, with extra. Maybe something's real about it. So, but anyway, I love them. It's entertaining. Never seen one until now. So I've been watching this thing in the air for about an hour. Been working on the roof of my RV. As you can see, I'm all sweaty. But I'm going to switch the camera around here. I know you won't be able to see much, but it's up there. Okay, so just above the trees. Uh, somewhere, I can't see it through the lens, but somewhere right in there is this white spot that's just been sitting there. Uh, yeah, it's just too far away for this. I'll just get a still shot. Okay, well, that's it up there. I've got about uh, most of the day to work on my roof. I'm putting a, a coating, a two-part coating on my RV roof, so it's going to take me most of the day, so I have... A, a lot of opportunity to watch this thing. If anything changes, I'll report back, but. Okay, well, that thing finally did uh, blink out. It just was there one second and gone the next, so. But, <clears throat> you know, the picture doesn't come out very clear and I was able to look at this thing with binoculars and what I would describe it as is elongated cylinder-ish looking thing round on each end. So it was a lot like the, you know, the Tic Tac thing that they were talking about. Uh, I think, I don't know, Lieutenant Favor or Favor or something like that was talking about seeing that something that looked like a Tic Tac to him. And, you know, if I was going to have to, you know, describe it as an object that I've seen before. That, that would fit it. It looked a lot like a Tic Tac. And it just sat there forever. <clears throat> in this clear blue sky. And then one second it was there. Next second it was gone. I don't know. Don't know where it went. But, yep, I'd call it a Tic Tac. So, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking because this is uh, in Wyoming, I guess I should tell you, that uh, Wyoming, Thane, Thane, Wyoming, and Star Valley. And, you know, it's not that far from that Skinwalker Ranch that has been on TV a lot. So, keep looking. If I see anything else, of course, I'm going to talk all about it. <laughs> see you guys. I've never seen anything sit there that still for that long, any change at all. So, if it starts doing zigzags and stuff, uh, <laughs> I'll put it out there. Anyway, that's my UFO. <laughs> you guys have a good one.